Here's your chance to help us stick it to ruthless car dealers who engage in deceptive pricing, charging outrageous fees, and pushing unwanted products in finance on their customers. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Here's what's happening. The FTC is set to implement new rules for car dealers, and dealers and their cronies are trying everything to stop it. Here's a chance for you, our viewers, to help us force car dealers to clean up their act. Here's how you can help. Let the Federal Trade Commission know today that you are in favor of implementing these rules. It's really simple to do, and we urge you to do it today. The link appears on the screen now, and we will put it in the description box down below, along with a suggested comment outline, or you could use your own words as well. Here's what happened. The Federal Trade Commission recently proposed a new set of rules that would ban unscrupulous sales practices that many of you are commonly hit with at car dealerships. Sound familiar? This is the stuff we hear about on our channel comment section all the time. Powerful dealer lobbies are currently out in numbers combating this FTC proposal, and it's become clear that they're determined to defeat these rules at all costs. Fortunately, all of you, the consumers, have a real opportunity to have your voices heard. A public comment period is open now until September 2022, and we're calling on you to share your opinion with the FTC. When these rules are implemented, you will be able to help stick it to unscrupulous car dealers like never before. Here are the proposed rules. Number one, no more selling products with no benefit to the customer. Hallelujah. Yeah. Number two, advertising the real price of the car online. Yeah. That includes everything. Yeah. And number three, cash buyers cannot be discriminated against with high fees. That will be good. How many people have complained about a dealer who has a fee for paying with cash? That's total insanity. Yeah. And number four, express informed consent would be required for add-ons commonly pushed on buyers in the finance and insurance office, F&I, when buying a car. So when you visit the FTC comment page, take notice that organizations like NADA have commented themselves. They went so far as to post a letter which essentially says, the National Automobile Dealers Association, NADA, hereby requests that the Federal Trade Commission, FTC, extend by a minimum of 120 days the 60-day period where the commission has provided for the public to comment on the motor vehicle trade regulation rule it has proposed in the above matter. Now, why would the dirty scoundrels at NADA want the time period for public comment to be extended? Only to delay the implementation of the rules totally. or to get more time for other powerful dealer lobbies to get their resources together and help fight this. NADA is the dirty dog behind the scenes and they absolutely don't want dealers being held to a higher standard. Not at all. The letter from NADA goes on to complain about a few things, saying the rules are unprecedented in scope and would affect tens of millions of consumer transactions annually. Great. They're doing nothing more than whining about these proposed rules, saying that the rules are going to prohibit a wide range of activity, number one. Well, notice they don't mention the unethical activity like pushing worthless products. Number two, establish certain advertising standards like requiring truth in their pricing. Number three, require an extensive series of oral and written disclosures governing communications with consumers related to the sales price of automobiles certain credit terms, and voluntary product protection, VPP. So, the finance office can't lie to you and cram stuff down your throats. And number four, mandate the posting of certain information on dealer websites, like unfairly charged fees, etc. And number five, impose a massive set of new record-keeping requirements so dealers can be checked up on. There's no doubt that the thugs at NADA are trying to stop the rules from being implemented. Two perfect slime balls, heads over at NADA, CEO Mike Stanton and Paul Metry, their senior vice president of regulatory affairs, told Automotive News that the FTC is using wildly inflated figures. <laughs> Holy crap, ball people. Do you want to talk about wildly inflated figures? Yeah. Wildly inflated figures pushed on buyers by most car dealers are a huge reason why this absolutely needs to be done by the FTC. Well, shamefully, the NADA has gone public with their attack on the FTC, all in the effort to defend the cronies in the car business. This article in Automotive News came out in June with the heading, NADA challenges FTC dealer rules on dealership advertising and F&I offices as unjustified, unsupported, sloppy, and inconsistent. As if doing the right thing is sloppy and inconsistent. What's well, like the pot calling the kettle black. That's right. There are also many great consumer comments that sound a lot like the feedback that we receive on this channel 
Robert Mikulak writes, I believe all dealerships selling both new and used cars should give the potential buyer the actual cost of the vehicle with all fees up front. Yeah. Amen. Every time I have bought a car just before signing the paperwork, I was hit by fee after fee for things such as rust protection, window bin etching, which is garbage, and for an extra key. Amen, Robert. To our pleasant surprise, one of the best comments came from a dealer owner out of Florida. Of all places. Yep. Proof that some really good people do exist in the car business. It's so good. And words of wisdom straight from a car dealer concerned about the deceptive practices common to his industry that I think we should take the time to read everything J.D. Tomlinson has to say. Absolutely. He writes, I'm an independent auto dealer in Gainesville, Florida. I have been in the car business my entire adult life. and My wife and I have owned and operated our current dealership for 25 years. Our dealership is a family-run mom and pop. We sell very nice late model vehicles. We have a service department and we enjoy a great reputation in our community. He continues, I read about your proposal P204800 and I would strongly support the regulations that you are considering. How different than the NADA, right? Yeah. Overwhelmingly, automotive dealership advertising is ridiculously deceptive. Advertised prices often assume a trade-in credit, a finance credit, or maybe some sort of incentive or rebate that usually doesn't apply. The advertised prices will also not include add-ons such as dealer fees, prep fees, market adjustment fees, and or reconditioning fees, just to name a few fees. These fees add up to thousands of dollars that have been undisclosed to the consumer. It's really become a joke. Most dealerships will not disclose these fees until a customer is on the property, or more often when the customer is ready to sign paperwork sitting down in finance, most importantly, there is no way for any consumer to actually shop for competitive pricing and compare apples to apples. Furthermore, dealerships will add in extended service contracts, wheel or rust protection, paint protection, etc., without telling the customer. They will also add a power pack or bonus pack, which would include items such as pinstripes, wheel locks, mud flaps, etc. These items will show on an addendum window sticker and may cost the customer thousands of dollars for products that should cost a couple hundred. The dealership will refuse to take any of these add-ons off, claiming we put these on all our cars. <laughs> Selling cars to the general public has been reduced to a contest of which dealership can effectively lie the best. In our current environment, even the most savvy customers are intentionally confused and deceived. It is a terribly unfriendly and unfair marketplace. This guy really knows the car business well, doesn't he? He's really good. I would be happy to answer any questions or provide any support that you may need to pass these regulations. Thank you for your time. J.D. Tomlinson, Tomlinson Motor Company, Gainesville, Florida. J.D. Tomlinson, you win our Outstanding Dealer of the Month Award. Support this guy, people. Yeah. By the way, I went on the site myself and wrote a comment that urges passing of these rules and blisters the thugs at NADA. If you're not sure what to say, look up the comment by J.D. Tomlinson or the homework guy and tell the FTC you totally agree with us. If you learned something today and you'd like to say thanks for our video with a tip, the links appearing on the screen now will be easy to find down below. And if you enjoyed the video, we'd appreciate you giving us a great big thumbs up and please comment and share with family and friends. And if you're not already on board with us, please don't forget to subscribe. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's exactly what we strive to do in every video we produce. The bottom line of today's video, make sure you comment on the FTC site and help get these rules implemented. When they do get passed, we will be the first to notify you and arm you to the teeth with how to defeat dealers who try thumb their noses at these rules. This concludes another great Homework Guy video. NADA, you can stick it where the sun don't shine. <laughs> we'll see you guys on our next show. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.